all, welcome back to another episode of Doodling Through Education. This is week 24 history for my CC students. You have made it all the way through cycle two, and I'm so proud of you for doing that. Um, don't worry, I will be back for cycle three. I plan on bringing more doodles to help supplement your homeschooling journey as well as some other projects that I think that you all will be very excited about. So stay tuned. This history episode talks about apartheid and its, its abolishment in South Africa, as well as Nelson Mandela and his involvement uh, with its abolishment. So on that note, let's dive in and start doodling. The word apartheid means apartness in the Afrikaan language. And this word is quite fitting when looking at what this legislation was that was upheld in South Africa from 1948 to 1994. Officially, apartheid was a system of legislation that allowed for segregation or separation against non-white citizens of South Africa. The National Party, which was a legal party, rose to power in South Africa in 1948. Racial segregation was unfortunately part of the culture in South Africa long before the National Party ever even took the stage, but now this party rose to power and helped to support it. This party consisted of an all-white government, which then began enforcing existing policies of racial separation or segregation. Their goal was not only to separate South Africa's white citizens from its non-white citizens, but also to separate non-white citizens from each other and to divide the black South Africans along tribal lines in order to decrease overall their political power. Under apartheid, non-white South Africans were forced to live in separate areas from whites and use separate public facilities. Even contact in everyday life was limited between the two groups. By 1950, the government had banned marriages between white people and people of other races. Then the Population Registration Act of 1950 was passed, and this furthered apartheid's strength even farther by classifying all South Africans by race. In some very saddening cases, this legislation even split families. A parent could be classified as being of the white race, while their children could be classified as not. In one of the most devastating aspects of apartheid, the government forcibly removed black South Africans from rural areas designated as a white area to different places and sold their land at low prices to white farmers. From 1961 to 1994, more than 3.5 million people were forcibly removed from their homes and brought elsewhere. Unfortunately, it made this group of people plunge into poverty and hopelessness. But the people did not sit idly by. Resistance to apartheid within South Africa took many forms over the years, from non-violent demonstrations, protests and strikes, to even political action. There did end up being armed resistance as well. Despite strong and consistent opposition to apartheid within and outside of South Africa, its laws remained in effect 
for the better part of 50 years. In 1989, a conservative man named F. W. de Klerk was favored to win in the election, and he took office. Though a conservative, de Klerk, who at first supported apartheid, underwent a conversion slowly and changed over to understanding and empathizing with the non-white citizens of South Africa. Due to this, his government repealed the Population Registration Act, as well as most of the other laws that formed the legal basis of apartheid. De Klerk then, in a monumental moment, actually freed a longtime resistance leader named Nelson Mandela, who had earlier been arrested from prison. At that point, a new constitution which enfranchised black citizens and other racial groups took effect in 1994. Elections that year led to a government with a non-white majority. This action marked the official end of the apartheid system. And that is all we have for you today here at Doodling Through Education. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so you never miss an episode. I look forward to seeing you all uh, in cycle three and stay tuned for any special videos that are published during the summertime. And on that note, remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care. Bye.